So let's put that last property into action with this next example. We want to find a unit vector in the direction of vector v defined by the directed line segment PQ, where P is the point, the ordered triplet, negative 4, 6, 2, and Q is the ordered triplet, 0, negative 4, 4. So the ultimate goal here is to find a unit vector in the direction of V. So in other words, we want to find some vector U such that vector U is defined as 1 by the magnitude of vector V multiplied by vector V. So, in order to do this, we need the components of vector v. So, let's find v to get us started. Now, again, we are given here that vector v is defined by the directed line segment pq. So, you can see that vector v is defined as pq, and we know that this is going to be terminal minus initial. So, here we go. We have 0 minus a minus 4 for the x component. We have negative 4 minus 6 for the y component, and 4 minus 2 for the z component. And this simplifies, so we have a negative times a negative here, which will produce a positive 4. We have negative 4 minus 6, which is minus 10. And last but not least, we have two, uh, 4 minus 2, which leaves us with 2. Now, looking at these components here, we realize they each have a, a common factor of 2. So for simplicity, let's go ahead and pull that out. So we can say that vector v is defined as 2 multiplied by the vector 2, negative 5, 1. Or if you'd like, you could rewrite this as 2 multiplied by 2i hat minus 5j hat plus k hat. So here is our beautiful vector v. Now again, keep in mind that we want to find a unit vector in this direction. So let's go ahead, now that we have the components of vector v, let's find the magnitude of it. And what I'm going to do here is apply the length of a scalar multiple property. So we can say that vector v, the magnitude of vector v, is going to be equal to 2, keeping that scalar multiple on the outside of our distance formula. So this will be 2 times the square root of 2 squared plus negative 5 squared plus 1 squared. So look at how this simplifies our computation. Much smaller numbers. So I have 2 times the square root of 4 plus 25 plus 1. And so this leaves us with 2 times the square root of 30 as the magnitude of vector v. And we have everything we need now to go ahead and find a unit vector in the direction of this vector. So we are officially ready to find that u, our vector u. So here we go. We have u is defined again as 1 by the magnitude of vector v multiplied by the components of vector v. So I have 1 over 2 times the square root of 30 multiplied by our vector v. So this is multiplied by 2 times the vector 2, negative 5, 1. And look at this beautiful simplification here. These 2s will cancel each other right out, leaving us with, so we can say it, therefore vector u is equal to the scalar multiple 1 by the square root of 30 multiplied by the vector 2, negative 5, 1. And there's nothing wrong with this answer. Keeping that scalar multiple on the outside is perfect. You could, of course, distribute that square root through if you'd like and rewrite your final answer as 2 by the square root of 30, negative 5 by the square root of 30, 1 by the square root of 30. So either form of this answer is beautiful. Now, as always, because this is vector arithmetic, we could check our work. So let's make sure we get 100 on our test, and let's double check that this is, in fact, a unit vector. So let's check. Does the magnitude of this vector equal 1? I don't know. Let's find out. So we have the magnitude of vector u, 
And again, I'm going to use my scalar multiple form so I can keep that 1 by the square root of 30 out in front. So now I'm multiplying by the distance formula. So I have 2 squared plus negative 5 squared plus 1 squared, which looks awfully familiar. So I have 1 by the square root of 30 multiplied by, so let's do this here. We've got 2 squared is 4 plus negative 5 squared is 25 plus 1 squared is 1. So we have the square root of 30 divided by the square root of 30, which leaves us with a beautiful answer of 1. Woohoo! So we have officially confirmed that this vector u here is a unit vector in the direction of v. Also keep in mind, you could add a plus or minus to this answer. It will hold true either way.